Last time on that 420 show, Manly seems to forget that it's Hi, Women Day. History Not Month and that, remembers that it's Women History Month. Melanie so also forgets have, to get the blunt. Received discrimination. I am with you because Melanie myself, forgets what <laughs> show we are show, right? on. Hold up, hold up. What kind of show you thought this was, Melanie? You even said in the intro, "Welcome to that 420 show." Now you're asking, "What show is this?" What you thought this was like the Ellen DeGeneres show, Oprah Winfrey show, the late night show? No, bitch. This is the 420 show. Come on now. Stop. Last but, but not know, least, oh, we, we, Melanie. Melanie forgets what that. she was going to say. Um. <laughs> um. Melanie, how high are you? Did you really forget what you were going to say? Come on now, girl. Don't forget. Come on now. All this and more, only on that 420 show. <laughs> As the LGBT community, okay, fuck what anybody got to say about you. Ooh. Fuck it. Period. Because at the end of the day, baby, if you think this, 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 is th this? no, <laughs> no, baby, that's not the way to go about things in life, <laughs> you know, and giving it up. If you ain't giving it up for a coin, bitch, what the fuck is you doing? Right. What 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 the what, city what girl said? If it ain't making money, it ain't making sense. You know, back <laughs> in my day, you know, I, I did some shit, you know what I'm saying? But now I am a professional. I have a college degree. I went to college. I graduated. I do property management and real estate. And, and I want to thank God for doing everything, for blessing me, for waking me up another beautiful day to be able to and, and, and help the next person. Because, you know, it starts there. It starts with me and then it ends with my community. If I can just change one person's life and make them smile once a day, I'm fine. At least I go home every night realizing and, and being thankful that... You I had the gratitude alive. and exactly right exactly that you changed your life not for bad but for good you feel me and, and that's something we should all admire just like these beautiful women who made history in an our and in our ah uh, so with that being said I'm, like this, I'm high bitch me too me too <laughs> I'm feeling really great like all right. these amazing women who made history in America yes so we're gonna start off with let's let's do oh so the reason why you your houses your homes have heating and air conditioning Ooh, who bitch. did that god alice parker alice parker designed the gas heating furnace which led to modern version of central heating mm. that we use today, honey. Mm. What we warm your house with, the baby. The boiler, right? You know? Yeah, it's a yeah, boiler. It's a boiler. It's a boiler. It's a boiler. So, so ladies and gentlemen, we should really give her a thanks for everything that she does because without her, Bitch, yeah, my house would, would be, be cold, cold baby. baby. Y'all in cold. Chicago, y'all in Chicago, like, better be careful for Alice what? Alice, Alice Parker. Parker, bitch. Thank Arlen, you, yes, Alice. Alice. So next, we Go have to Mary McLeod Bethuan. Mary was a pioneer for education and a civil rights activist. Ooh. Bitch, she was working for all her community. Bitch, Baby, she was, she was out, out there. there in them streets fighting hard for us. Mm -hmm. She was doing everything in her power. She was making sure one of her amendments were completed. She believed in the importance of education as a vehicle for racial advancement and worked hard to make sure that young people had the knowledge they needed to move forward. Period. That's powerful. That's, that's that's very powerful. Period. Period. Just like our teachers recently, they were protesting out here. LAUSD teachers, they got out of this, their 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 classrooms, stopped teaching, and started their protests, letting one of their amendments be completed. Yeah. Freedom of speech. Public education. <laughs> Now! 
freedom of speech. Freedom! Freedom! Like this, bitch. Anyways. Yeah, I was gonna say, where the fuck go? I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> so All right, well, those of you who know this name, say amen. Coretta Scott King is the wife of Dr. Martin Marley Luther, Luther King. King. <laughs> where you got that king from? <laughs> period. So, period. Honey, boy. Um, so Coretta is known as the wife of Dr. Martin Luther King, but she also was a form a famed activist in her own right for civil rights movement, period. women rights, and against war. Oh, period. She participated in the Montgomery bus boycott. My hometown, my home state, Huntsville, Alabama. Whoop whoop two five six. Um, changed after her husband's assassination. She was a talented singer and a violin player with multiple college degrees, baby. Damn. So there's no reason why you, Damn. why, why, why we can't go and get a college education and be, Damn. be set in life. You know, they say if you know better, you do better. But some of y'all, I feel like y'all don't know better. So I'm gonna need you to get it together, for real. Get it together because you can do better. Only you can make a difference in your life. Period. Um, Condoleezza Rice. Everybody knows who Condoleezza Rice was, okay? Condoleezza Rice was the first black woman to serve in the United States National Security Advisory and Secretary of State. Women. Women. The first she was also black the first women. black female to hold, oops, to hold the position of a provost at St. St. Stanford University, excuse me. Period. What is going on with my language today? It's a we, honey. It's a <laughs> we. See, when we smoke and we're session it, we don't gotta read, we don't gotta, you know, we don't gotta right? think extra. But see, when we're smoking, All right, now, I know we everybody. High, we gotta read the scripts, we gotta read the scripts. So, we so get what you tell confused. me your opinion, opinion about this? So, this next one, let me show you this next one, because these people going. So this next one, everybody knows this woman. Right, this woman makes You get a car, and I get a car. We, we all, all get, get a car. car. Oh, I wish my show was like that. Right? <laughs> but you think Oprah would smoke weed? Uh, I don't know, you think she would be glad I know, I, I know Ellen smokes this? weed. I mean, we don't have to smoke, they don't have to smoke weed. I mean, it's the 420 show, I mean, it's for everybody. If you want to smoke weed, you can smoke weed on this show. You don't got to smoke weed. But I mean, it would be better if we all right. smoked weed, right? And I we mean, all of had course. The conversation high as fuck, you know. So, but I mean, I have that Jeremy show that doesn't involve weed. True. So, Oprah is known for a media mogul. Oprah Winfrey is one of the most influential people in the media industry and one of the few Period. female billionaires in the world. She is a producer, Period. a philanthropist, actress, Actress. publisher, and talk show host. She has her own TV, TV, television, blah, blah, blah. And we all know that. We've seen it. We've seen it. We watch it. Own. If you have it, we watch it. Preview. It's amazing. Um, Harriet Tubman. Ooh, my personal favorite. Now, that woman, that woman is amazing. She is I, great. She's a blessing. Harriet was a true warrior in the battle against slavery. She risked her own freedom to help hundreds of people escape the the cruel clutches of <laughs> involuntary labor <coughs> using the Underground Railroad. Also, also if you don't know slavery. what the Underground Railroad is, it, it basically to get us black folk back to the other side where we know somebody. The North, <laughs> also known as the North. So that was, but yeah, a bad North side. <laughs> um, all right, the y'all for y'all who who into sports. Here's one for y'all. Ella Baker. Ella Baker. Ella, Ella Baker. was a dedicated civil rights activist who worked. I'm so sorry, I just fucked up. <laughs> she worked with the NAACP, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, and the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Com Committee, among other organizations. <laughs> so basically, so she worked with other organizations. Wait, you, you thought and and see. It's listen, I listen. I just misread that. No, I just misread that. Okay, because I, I was gonna say, okay, I could, I could kind of see that because of the NBA and stuff like mm -hmm. that. You feel me? So I could kind of see. How it's you, the weed, though. I'm telling it you, it is the weed. I'm the I was weed. telling you, like it's hard to concentrate and read stuff when you're not. <coughs> oh, the lights are on. Is it on? It's on. Is it, it on? on? Is this 
bitch recording. Uh. All right, one of the, another one that I really, really want to touch bases that has changed my life personally. Period. By the book she's wrote, by the movie she's done, by by the voice of her, the tone of her voice, when her spirit, reads. Maya Angelou. I love. If you have not read, I know why the caged bird sings. You definitely, definitely need to, need to read it. Read definitely. It. Maya was a legendary poet and award-winning author. Her 1969 memoir, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings, made history as the first non-fiction bestseller by a black woman. Female. So, yes. Um, Female. Should we continue? Mm -hmm. A couple more? <coughs> Sojourner yes. Truth. I know that you guys have heard that name. Wait, who? Sojourner Truth. Sojourner Truth. Yeah. So you know, are all African American, <coughs> by the way, right? <coughs> yes, You're everyone African? that I have spoken of is a is black, black African, African woman. American. Is a black African American Maybe. woman who has done something in this country and that is, history. is 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 An history impact. in this in this country. Excuse me. We all so it. truth it. was a true feminist and fought tirelessly for women's rights and to abolish slavery after her escape from Ooh. slavery with her infant daughter truth learned of the illegal sale of her son into slavery and this and successfully took his owner to court for his freedom this was one of the first cases of its kind oh. she gave her herself the name sojourner sojourner <laughs> truth when she decided to fully dedicate her life to activism her her memoirs were published in 1850. Sojourner. Damn. Sojourner. So 1850, how, how, 1850? That's mm. like a long time ago. That was like after the Civil War. Because the Civil War ended like in what, 18 something? So like 70 years ago. That means I would have been. No, bitch, that's more than 70 years because 1914 is already 100 no, and something. No, 10, 10. No, in 1909 it's already 200 years because my school was was made in 1909, and the city of Huntington Park was funded in 1906. So the city itself is about 200 years old, about to be 200 years old or 100 and something years old. Really? Yeah, it's That's interesting. So that means that that was about 200 years old. It's like 200 years okay. that has hap that happened. Did you use all my weed? Uh. No, no I'm asking because no. you're, you're gonna roll up a fucking blunt. Oh no no no! We oh. used that weed in your weed in there. Okay. But I left so it let's there. see here. We have maybe one more. Oh. Joseph Baker. Oh. She was a, a dancer and a singer. Josephine was was one of the most popular and highest paid entertainers of her time. She also Ooh. toured France and the States as a comedian and a broadcast actress. She was performed in controversial revealing out outfits such as a skirt made entirely out of bananas. Wow. wow. Look at that. Isn't that dope? Yeah. I would totally fucking wear that. <coughs> Melanie could rock that, right? Yeah, definitely. Of course I could. Bitch. So now we're gonna show you some pictures of these people. If you don't know well, who they, they are, they've been seeing these pictures already. No, they haven't. We yeah, didn't even show. No, we but it's already edited. Them. It's already edited. Oh, okay. In the video. So as you were speaking, the pictures were shown. Okay. Being shown. Yeah. Okay. So we we don't have to worry about showing them pictures. So you because they'll come out and back. Okay. Cool. 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 So as so we, so now as we know, we have a a lot of women who have done a lot of things for us, especially yes, black sure. women. Black women empower this country. Black women do a lot for this country, period, point blank. And, and I feel like it shouldn't be Black Lives Matter. All lives matter, regardless of sex, age, color, race. It doesn't matter. Maybe black, black people have, black African American people have done a lot. You and know, the saddest slavery. thing is that, you know, whites themselves has covered up this factual history about white i mean black women and it's funny because you know they've always done this throughout the history they always you know shut down the colored people and never like pocahontas we never knew about pocahontas until you know we made further research upon her and other indigenous females that made an impact in the american uh history 
and it's just how we just don't we don't perceive it we don't acknowledge it because we're not used to acknowledging it and that's why we have months like this for youtuber like us could bring it out and acknowledge these women's and acknowledge the people that america ha america has always shut down you know we're here to acknowledge those people because no one else is going to do that no one else is going to take their time to go upon a google uh, board and just you know google and search up a uh, 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 a women history you know or black women history they're not gonna do that because what they're gonna say you know what I don't have time for this and it's irrelevant why am I googling this you feel me so when you see like videos like this where they just pop up out of nowhere you're just watching it and you're like oh it's interesting yeah you know informational fact about your history factual informational facts about your history about your history about what where not you come from not your only, heritage your right. background not only you know? about your history, the black history. history, yeah, and not only any kind of history, but women history. You know, people that that back then they probably didn't even have rights. Women didn't have rights. Now imagine being black and being a woman. Yep. So today, I hope you guys <coughs> learned something from us. Yeah, hopefully you guys <coughs> learned something on the 420 show. Informational um, facts, you know. <coughs> We're down? Are we gonna roll up another blunt? This is for the other segment. To be continued. To be continued, guys. So come, so come watch us. Come join us for what's coming up next. Or I will be a another guest in another topics. A couple other topics. We're gonna touch base on a little bit more of Black history, but for the most part, well, women history since Black History Month was last month, true. and we already did that for the show. Yeah. But also catch up. We're it's gonna be some funny shit happening. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk real shit, real life, what's happening now. And yes. we'll see you guys <coughs> next time. Please In like this same channel. Please like, follow, comment, subscribe, subscribe. You know. You know? Please do that. Please sh like, share, tell us what you think of the show. I want to know. I want to know the truth. Like. What is important in your life? What is important to you? The, what can you do? This is you guys' homework. What can you do to change the world and better it? Right. What can you do? You know? Because at the end of the day, if we don't learn to live amongst each other and learn to love one another, guess what? We're gonna... We're just gonna end up killing We're just gonna one kill another. one another like we've been doing for the last, what, decade? So, love you guys. And we enjoyed you on that, that 420, 420 show. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fat. <laughs>